Catching the second far-fetched goes pretty much the same as catching the first, just with a lot more running around. <laughs> He's chasing me! And after returning it to this loser, Hattori Hanzo shows up to give Ratata the ability to cut down small trees. <laughs> Fivel used cut. So far, all Jaunty has been running into an Ilex forest is some pesky Zubats. But after finding a couple of items hidden in the trees, he stumbles across something different. Arish. The demonic vegetable. Oh, hello, darling. Since you're about to catch a new friend, seems like a good opportunity to try one of those friend balls. You and I will never be friends, but we can respect each other as mothers and as fellow believers in the infinite promise of the cosmos above. Dumplin. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh shit. It's that weird lady from Violet City. The one who expects you to be taking care of that Pokemon egg. But it's just been rotting away in the PC. You know what? A chew kinda looks like a fried egg. Let's just get him out here and pretend that it hatched. Kimono girl, kimono girl, lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Ilex forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Mm. Well, fuck. Let me refresh your memory! Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? Yes! You are so much nicer than your dickhead trainer. Fuck you. Wait a second. A Chew doesn't know the way out. There's nothing over there except for a steep cliff. Oh wait, that's right. A Chew seems to be listening to the sound of rustling leaves. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> While exploring the forest, Jaunty stumbles across a man running headfirst into a tree. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? I'm shaking trees using headbutt, it's fun. Here you try it with your Pokemon too. So Jaunty teaches headbutt to Fivel by replacing tackle. Now let's see it in action. Headbutting trees can sometimes cause pocket men to fall out of them. It also makes for a pretty powerful normal type attack in battle. And now that Fivel gives great head, let's move on from the forest. Oh honey. Oh honey. Honey. <laughs> Try using this TM for a change. Obtain TM12, which basically forces the enemy Pikmin to attack you instead of using other types of moves. Gee, thanks a bunch. <laughs> honey! Route 34. You are challenged by youngster Samuel, who doesn't offer much of an exciting battle, but he does have a pocket man we haven't seen yet, Sanchru, who looks like one of the popcorn kernels at the bottom of the bowl. And speaking of new Poco men, it's time to catch one, so Jaunty decides to see what he can knock out of the trees with headbutt. Looks like there's nothing in that tree, why not try the next one? You 
you are challenged by pokey fan Brandon, and we're just going to ignore the fact that he's being stabbed in the back by a half human half Pikachu hybrid, because it's time to feast your eyes on this fucking thing. You disgusting, disgusting creature. Jaunty switches in Krunk to deal with the disgusting, disgusting creature, but it lowers Krunk's attack by being quote unquote, charming, which unfortunately lowers the effectiveness of his new move magnitude. 7. Whoa, whoa. Normally, a magnitude 7 would be a bit stronger than that, but the stupid pink thing over there ruined it. Whoever heard of an ugly pink dog being charming anyway? <laughs> Five Phil grew to level 10, and learns a new move bite by replacing focus energy. Now here's the perfect test subject for Krunk's magnitude. 9. <laughs> Defeated Pokey fan Brandon. Why does it end this way? No. 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 Yes. I mean, um, I mean no. No. Jaunty found a super potion, and after a couple more headbutts, he finally finds a Poco Man. <laughs> Hoot Hoot. The first new Pokemon on this route route. This little guy is kinda cute cute. And with Foghorn gone, perhaps he could make a good substitute toot. You are challenged by Youngster Ian. Look! It's Monkey! <laughs> Jaunty sends in a chew. Since this monkey probably doesn't have any moves that affect ghosts, but it pulls the old switcheroo and swaps out with what monkeys are famous for throwing around. Ah, poop. It sure is unfortunate that a chew's only attack is lick. But coincidentally, after defeating Diglett, he levels up and learns a new attack, Nightshade, which allows him to hurt his enemies without touching them. That could have been really handy just a moment ago. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. It's all part of life's sweet sorrow. Now let's finish off that monkey. Boo! Ah! <coughs> Hi. You are challenged by Picnic Gina. Now just for fun, try to imagine a helicopter, a turnip, and a cat, all smooshed together. Wow, she's even more beautiful than I imagined. Now Fifil, if you wanna grow big and strong, you gotta eat your vegetables. <laughs> Now try to imagine a super cute little dinosaur with an onion on his back. I love you. You're beautiful as you are, Courage. With all your imperfections, you can do anything. <gasps>